Good morning, New Covenant World. Uh, love, honour and glory to every one of you. Our foundations of faith, I'd like to share with you today uh, the foundations of our faith. Because sometimes we need to uh, look back and make sure of our foundations in these times of shaking and rattling. And um, we're going to start off with uh, and look at the foundations, the purpose of building a foundation, what the foundation is, the principles of foundation, what our foundations are built upon, and the importance of those foundations. The basic doctrines of the Christian faith what we all start off with and they're listed in the book of Hebrews and if we, if we have a quick look at that and it says in Hebrews 6 therefore leaving the discussion of the elementary principles of Christ let us go on to perfection not laying again the foundation of repentance from dead works and of faith towards God of the doctrine of baptisms, of the laying on of hands, of resurrection of the dead, and of eternal judgment. And this we will do if God permits. Uh, praise God and we hope the Father permits us to move on from those foundations of our Christian faith to grow into perfection. And it doesn't all happen at the same time. The revealing of Christ in us uh, comes with much heartache and anguish and tribulation. But if you keep at it, 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 it works. So there's two objectives of having a foundation, of building a foundation. And it must be on the right foundation so we can go on to that perfection. And in 1 Corinthians 3, 9, it says, For we are God's fellow workers, you are God's field, you are God's building. And this is the purpose of, of having that right, right foundation and what it is. Because you are God's building, it says. You are the habitation of God through the Holy Spirit and of Christ. They will make their abode in us. And this is why the foundation must be true. So, for the inhabitation of the Holy Spirit upon us. And that foundation must be based on God's Word. And it must be a good foundation. It must be based on righteousness. And if that foundation is true... It will be eternal. And in times of testing, in times of shaking, it will not crumble because it's built upon the solid rock. And the two principles of those foundations are for redeemed men and living redeemed lives. Because we will build our uh, foundation on this rock, uh, we are redeemed and our lives will be, uh, we will live a life of the redeemed life in righteousness and holiness to the best of our ability. And that foundation is built, as I said, upon the rock which is immovable. And that rock is Jesus Christ. And he is the only foundation. As in Isaiah 44, 8, which says, Fear not, nor be afraid. I not told you from old and declared it, and you are my witnesses. Is there a God beside me? There is no rock. I know not any. <coughs> this is the only solid rock which is available to mankind. 
and the only foundation which can save us. And in 1 Corinthians 3.11 it says, For no one can lay a foundation other than the one already laid, which is Christ Jesus. So that foundation is already being laid for mankind, and we have to climb upon it and stay on it. And the uh, importance of having this foundation to enable us to live the successful life in Christ. In Psalm 11.3, When the foundations are being destroyed, what can the righteous do? So all the foundations not built upon the rock will be destroyed, will crumble. But the rock that you stand on in Christ... Who is, the, who is the foundation, the solid foundation, is immovable, while all around you is crumbling before our very eyes. And Jesus stressed the need for building a good foundation. And the right foundation... And then the Lord Jesus says, Whoever comes to me, he is my sayings and does them, are the ones that will inherit eternal life. So threefold, come unto Christ. So which takes humility. Because of the pride of man, many will not come to Christ. Even if they believe in him, many will not... Come to him. He is what he says and does what he says. And there are many wrong foundations. And when the storms of life come, as I said before, we will be immovable. Strengthening the souls of his disciples, encouraging them to continue in the faith and saying that through many tribulations we must enter the kingdom of God. So even though you're upon this rock, you will enter the kingdom with many tribulations, not with tribulations, many. And that those tribulations can come in many different forms. But as I said, you will be immovable if you build the right foundation. So I hope uh, I hope you've found some value in that what I shared. Building the right foundation in Christ, coming to Christ, hearing His word, and doing them, inherit eternal salvation. And when the when the tribulations of life come, the shakings come in many different forms. You will. Be immovable, and you will stand upon that rock, and and you will be able to see the crumbling of the foundations built upon sand in the world. And we'll pray and hope that all those who are seeking Christ are on that rock and haven't built their foundations on sand. So we will see the glory of God in our lives. When we stand upon that rock immovable, as the testing and inspection of our hearts and minds takes place, it's to the quality of our works. Coming to Christ, hearing what he says and doing what he says. Foundations of faith. Peace and love, everyone.